to the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Experience. Fazbear Entertainment is excited to join the digital age, and what better way to do that than with an edge-of-your-seat virtual reality experience. We know that Fazbear Entertainment has developed something of a bad reputation over the last few decades, and while it's true that some stories associated with our name were loosely based on actual events, the majority of them were total fabrications from the mind of a complete lunatic. Lawsuits pending. But we aren't above laughing at ourselves. Ha ha ha. That's why we have recreated many of these completely fictitious scenarios, lies, that you've been fed over the last several years into a hilarious VR game, in the hopes that we can finally move past these childish ghost stories and develop a new relationship with you, as well as your kids. Don't forget the merch perfect for birthdays. So sit back and enjoy a few scares. We do, however, ask that you agree to a simple waiver before you play. It's mostly just legal mumbo-jumbo and isn't at all based on user experiences thus far or injuries associated with testing. Just touch the button to agree and then we can jump right into some harmless fun that can't harm you at all in any harmful way. Thank you for playing the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Experience. You acknowledge that Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for accidental digital consciousness transfers, real-world manifestations of digital characters, nightmares, night terrors, night sweats. Welcome to the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Experience. Use the console in front of you to navigate the menu and pick one of the frightening experiences available. By completing these scenarios, more will become available. You'll see plenty of familiar faces and some new ones as well. So stay a while and have a good time. And remember, despite the temporary horror you may experience, this is a completely controlled environment and you aren't in any real danger. Fazbear Entertainment not responsible for real danger. Please make a selection from the virtual menu. Let's just focus on getting you through your first week. 
Okay. Uh, let's see. First, introductory reading for the company that I'm supposed to read. And it's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. A magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovering that damage or death has occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached and the carpets have been replaced. Blah, blah, blah. Now that might sound bad, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but why not the stupid songs for 20 years and I never had a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children and we need to show them a little respect, right? Okay. So just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free roaming mode at night. Uh, something about their servos locking up they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day too. But then there was the bite of 87. Yeah. It's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe, you know? Uh, now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wired, animatronic devices, especially around the facial area. So you can imagine how having your head forcefully pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort and death. Uh, the only parts of you that would like to see the light of day again would be your eyeballs and teeth pop up in front of the mask here. Yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. But hey, first they should be a breeze. I'm chatting with you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras and remember to close the doors only if absolutely necessary. Gotta conserve power. Alright, good night.
Welcome back to Parts and Service. Oh no, it looks like Bonnie's guitar is out of tune and must be recalibrated. First, we must access his harmonization module located inside his secondary throat pipe. To access the throat pipe, both eyes must first be removed. You must be as precise as possible when removing the eyes from their respective sockets. First, firmly grip Bonnie's left eye and carefully remove it from its socket. Great job! Deposit the left eye in the cleaning receptacle on your left. Well done! Now, firmly grip Bonnie's right eye and carefully remove it from its socket. Deposit the right eye in the cleaning receptacle on your right. Good job! To open Bonnie's faceplate, carefully press the two buttons located on either side of Bonnie's jaw. When done correctly, you should hear two small clicks. Well done! You now have access to Bonnie's harmonization module. Press the blinking button inside Bonnie's secondary throat pipe to enter calibration mode. Something is not right. One of those notes is out of tune. You may push the button again to replay the audio check. Press the colored button that corresponds to the incorrect note. Press the blinking button again to verify your work. Great job! Bonnie is in tune and ready for his solo. Let's close him up. Simply replace both eyes in the same order that you removed them, then close up the faceplate and we'll call it a day. Well done! That concludes your parts and services task. See you next time! We went to great lengths to create an authentic VR experience, including using scanned photographs for reference and using original performance routines where applicable.
Freddie and his friends tend to become more active as the week progresses. Uh, it might be a good idea to peek at those cameras while I talk, just to make sure everyone's in the proper place, you know. Uh, interestingly enough, Freddie himself doesn't come off stage very often. I've heard he becomes a lot more active in the dark, though, so, hey, I guess that's one more reason not to run out of power, right? Uh, I also want to emphasize the importance of using your door lights. Uh, there are blind spots in your camera view, and those blind spots have to be right outside your doors. So if, if you can't find something...